G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to pouring your heart out. I am using my new coaster mold today. The one I made myself. I will link the video up above um, if you want to see how I made it. And this is going to be the second pour using this mold today. I'm using the Barnes Clarity basically because it's a heat resistant resin. And if you're going to be putting like a hot cup of coffee or tea on your coasters, you want it not to melt, don't you? So Barnes Clarity, it's uh, heat resistant up to 145 degrees. That's it in there. I mixed it up and let it sit for about 10 minutes. So all the bubbles are pretty much gone now. Bubbles are all gone. Now, you know how I always try for my clear center with the crystals or whatever in it, and then I do the dark around, the lighter, and then I get to the clear and then put my stones in. And I'm always upset because from the outside, all the color wants to run into the middle. So I thought, what about if I opposite it, flip flop it, have my clear with my glass around the outside then the lighter color and then the darker color in the middle so that's what I'm going to do today and I'm using um, copper copper tones and I'm going to edge it with my copper Krylon pen when it's dry so that's what I'm going to do I have got Artisu powder pigment powder in bronze Artisu pigment powder in copper so that's them there. I thought that would look really pretty. And then I've got these bits of glass that I colored myself. Um, I made a copper color. I probably will, if anyone wants to see how I make colored glass, let me know. And um, I'm about to do a video of it. When I was making these last night, I thought, oh, I should have been videoing them. I'm gonna put in Mm, quite a lot because I need to go all the way around the outside it's about a third of a cup I guess oh, I've got more there if I need it Th these are 120 mils uh, four ounce cups put a little bit of resin in there whoops I stuck so I've made up 560 grams of resin for these six coasters. I do know that they can take a little bit more, like if I want to do a flood coat, um, I can. I can do with a little bit more, so we shall see. But for now, we'll just make up this amount. I haven't used this before, it's still got its paper on it. Let me just open it up over here. Oh, that's a pretty colour. Look at that. Pretty pretty. Um, let's do a nice heaped spoonful. And hopefully that will be enough. Get the lid back on. Lids always go on twisted, don't they? Right, this one. Okay, that's it there. Do a nice big scoop of that one as well. Not sure if I need any more. We shall see. Again, I don't want too much colour, and this is going to be for my clear. So let's just pour that over the top. And I'm going to do half a cup. Try and get the resin to go over the top so it doesn't all fly away. Half a cup, and I'm just going to put some clear in there for now, and the rest of the clear can just stay in my jug for the moment. Let's put it over here. Right, so that one's mixed. I think I'm going to need a little bit more resin in that one actually. It's a little bit too crunchy. crunchy <laughs> just sounds as if it was like too thick and crunchy there we go that's better look at that 
So I'm hoping these colours work out really pretty together. You can be in there and you can be in there. All right, let's mix. Uh, feel free to fast forward if you don't want to see me mix resin. <laughs> Same as I say when I'm doing my acrylic pouring. If you don't want to watch me layering. I know some people have, you know, haven't got as much time as others. For me, when I'm watching YouTube videos, um, you know, if one of my favourite artists comes on, I think, oh, I've got to go and make a cup of coffee. So I get my coffee and I get my lunch or my biscuit or whatever I'm having, if it's morning tea, afternoon tea. And I'm going to set myself down, press play. And look, I don't mind if it goes for an hour. I'm just happy to be listening and learning. If it's those videos that this awful loud music comes on, and there's no talking or it's just all fast forwarding. I just skip to the next video. It's just not my thing. I'm sure it is a lot of people's, but I just don't learn anything from it. So I'm not going to give it my time if I'm not going to be learning anything from it. So I much prefer those people who explain everything, take their time step by step. You can watch them, how much um, powder they put into their resin. That's okay, you know, and if you don't want to watch, then you've got your fast forward button. So, yeah. Now, I'm going to go back to this one. See, I don't know if you can see on top, but you can see there's still some mica powders that have floated to the top. So, you kind of have to go back and stir again because they do float to the surface if you've missed any of them. I was going to add black as well, and then I thought, oh, black and this colour together, it might just be a bit too dark, especially if the black takes over. So I've only gone with the two colours, and we'll see how that goes. And a little bit more of this one, actually. The other colour, this one seems to be... Oh, look at that. I love the effects it makes when you put your clear in. Okay. It's a very exciting. I love my new moulds that I've made. So exciting. Okay, here we go. Now I hope I've got enough of this. I don't know that it's actually going to pour very well. So actually maybe I need to get a teaspoon and just kind of I'll wipe down this teaspoon that I was using. Make sure it's very clean. Because I just, you know, when you pour it, I think all the the plain resin is going to come out and then you probably wouldn't have very much in the way of glass. Oh, there's a hair. Always have some masking tape handy. I have already cleaned all of these out with the masking tape. Now I'll lay them down like that and clean them all out. But there's just stuff in the air, isn't it? We'll leave that there in case I find some more. Oh, it's looking really pretty. Must get another bottle of this glass it's just um mirror like crushed up mirror so it's you know reflective on one side which is the mirror side and then the other side's just clear and i was able to find on ebay um a purple and a green and a blue but if i want any other colors like this one my coppery sort of rose goldy color it's just not available so that's why I thought I'll make it myself and I much prefer the, the glass oh, I'm not gonna have enough to go around um, all of these um, I much prefer the glass to the glitters which just sink and then you have this big blob of glitter I'm gonna have to make up more There we go, try and spread it as best as possible. I guess you could just put it in like naked, so to speak, without the resin, but then there's always the risk that, you know, the resin might not go underneath and then you get like a dry bit underneath that hasn't got any resin on it. Got my little baby wipe. Whoops, moving everything. Got my baby wipe. Um, now, got a little bit 
left. It's a pretty decent sized coasters, these ones. They're 11 and a half centimeters by 11 and a half centimeters, roughly, you know, to the longest point. So they're a lovely size, but they do take a lot of resin. So I'm gonna have to try and, when I do a set of six like this, I'm really have to gonna try and sell them. Otherwise, um, I'm just, you know, making coasters just for the sake of making coasters, which is okay, it's fun, but I do need to reclaim some of my money so that I can, you know, buy more resin and make more videos for you and for me you know i'm basically doing it for me because i enjoy it and then having you guys watch as well that's just a bonus oops okay let me stir that in again hopefully that's enough So I'm going to need some more of this color, aren't I? So I'll make I'll make a video on how to make different colors. But in the meantime, find yourself some just clear mirror and have that on standby because that's what you use, or that's what I use to make the other colors. I still haven't got enough. Oh my gosh. Sorry, peeps. Taking all your time here. All right, need a little bit more. Who knew I was gonna need so much? Who knew? But until you've done it, you don't know. Because normally I just put a little bit in the center. Um, and you know, you don't use very much when you do that. But now that I'm doing the outside, you use a lot more. I'll clean up my drips in a minute. I hope this works. I hope it works. I hope it works. I hope all my colour doesn't run to the outside now and hide my glass because that's what I don't want. I want the glass to be visible. But you know when you're doing resin, it always runs from the outside in. So I figured why not try this hopefully hopefully it'll work okay you can jump in there righto now we're set set like a jelly right now the next thing I want to do is pour some clear Fill up my cup again. I like using the little paper cups, but I don't like them being any more than half full. I've told you that before, because then they pour down the side and make an awful mess. Can I do that one? No. You can't tell because it's clear. So clear in the middle of all of them. And hopefully that will push out. Got plenty of clear. Let's hope I've made up enough colour. Now it's going to kind of fill in all the little gaps. Sort of. Doesn't matter if they're not all filled in. Resin is self leveling, so they'll fill in. I'm going to leave a little bit of clear for the end, for the middle. So I've got plenty there. I hope this is the right thing to do, pouring the clear in. Just <clears throat> make sure that everything's covered.
Actually, I shouldn't use the pointy end, I should use the blunt end. Just spread those out a little bit. If there's any big clumps, just spread them a little bit. Crush them down. Okay, that's looking pretty good. All right, now this is going to be the, the trick. Is this going to stay or is it going to just flow right over the edges? Oh, <laughs> please don't. All right, here we go. I'm going to start with just a little bit. So I'm worried about what it's going to do. But isn't it pretty? So pretty. Oops, you've got a bit more in you. Oh, that's such a pretty colour. I could just leave it like that and I'd be happy. <laughs> oh, seriously, I would be happy with that. And now I'm going to torch it, I think. Because I always forget to torch. Whoops, stick stuck to me. That was nearly a disaster. She might bring you down for a little bit of a, a more of a centered kind of a look. Here we go. So pretty. Wow. It's torch. Be really careful not to burn my mold. There's hardly any bubbles in here at all because I, I let my resin sit for 10 minutes and then uh, when I was chatting to you, it's like another five minutes and pretty much all the bubbles have gone. Actually, I might just pour some in here again because if you leave it in a big amount like that, it hardens up faster. So you're better off decanting it into smaller areas, smaller cups and things is what I've been told. There we go. Right. Oh, I guess I have to do it. I'm a bit nervous, but I'm going to have to do it. Put this next colour on top. Or do I need more of that? Mm, no. I've still got heaps left. I wonder if I should do a bit more. But when I pour when I pour this in, it's going to push it out, isn't it? So maybe not. Let's do a little bit. Oh, it's sinking. No, come back. Where are you going? Come back. Oh, it's gone. Okay. Pour a little bit in each one. Hopefully the colours will still react to each other. Like, I don't know. We'll just we'll just have to wait and see. I have no idea what's gonna happen. Oh, because now my colour's all gone. But if you look really carefully, you can see little little dark areas. So I think that's probably enough colour. Um, yeah, so I haven't used very much of that and I haven't used very much of that. But that's okay. I'll, I'll know for next time. I just, I just want to be really careful that I don't put too much colour in um, and it takes up my clear edges. But now I'm going to add some clear to the centre and that's pushing it out a little bit more. Here we go, clear in the middle. It's hard to know like exactly how much to put in. I'm sort of hoping that they're all equal, but it's hard to tell. All right, I'm up to here, aren't I? 
So that one didn't pour very well because I had it a little bit fuller than the others. Okay. Now what do I do? I don't know what to do now. Oh my gosh. Um, let me talk again. I'm just going to get a, a baby wipe out. Wipe my gloves. I guess I could have put more colour on. Like it hasn't... It hasn't spread. This is the thing, you know, when you start with the outside, your colour all runs into the middle. But because it's already in the middle, it still wants to run into the middle. It's not going to, I don't think it's going to run out. I could, you know what I could do? I could put another layer of, um, I could put some more of this on, couldn't I? Yeah. <gasps> yeah, let's do it. Just a little bit. So I've still got lots of room around the outside. And I do need to fill my coasters up a little bit more. See, there we go. That's still looking good. What's going on over here? So what's going on there? It must have... Um... Isn't that weird? Where, where the rock is, it's kind of going in. I won't, I won't fiddle with it. I just thought, oh, what's going on there? Actually, look, now you can see that darker ring. Look at that. Okay, now I'm going to put, um, now I'm going to put some more dark on. Woohoo! This is fun, you guys. Just a little bit now. Smaller puddle because, you know, I don't want as much. Just a smaller puddle this time. I guess I can just keep doing this. And um, just keeping an eye on on what's happening with my edges. But so far, so good, you guys, it's working. Look, my clear edges are staying. I'm so excited, so excited. Okay, now, let's do some more clear on top of that. So I had light. And I had dark, then I had clear, and we had light, we had dark, and we had clear. And basically just filling up my mould. Hope I'm not getting a bit ahead of myself here, thinking that my clear edges are going to stay clear. And maybe they won't, because who knows what's going to happen in an hour. But... Um, so far, should I go again with another layer? Let's torch. You can really see that um, that bronze now, can't you? The darker colour sitting on top, on that ring there. You can really see the difference. And where the where this is, the edges where they're touching the glass, they're kind of going around the glass. Look at that. It's kind of, it's mimicking the outside of my geode. I'm getting the same on the inside. Isn't that bizarre? And then over here where there's no rock, I've got a, a clear, well, a smooth area, but then where there's lots of rock, it's going in and out and in and out. Because it's going, ah, the rock, don't touch me. Um, I don't know, guys, do I go again? Still got some more colour. Do I go again? Let's just put a little bit more of this one on. Because my, my coasters aren't full yet. They're not up to the top. Even if I end with this colour, because I prefer this colour to the darker one, so... I always end with this one and it's I've nearly finished it actually it's pretty much pretty much gone and I'm just having a look and see which one may need just a touch more I think you can have just a touch more and then I just don't want to drip anywhere that it's not supposed to drip
Mm. Shouldn't have done that. <laughs> all right, saved it. Okay, so that's all that colour gone. Right. Now, I don't think I want to do any more of the dark. Do I? Oh, look at the design that's happening. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, there's a bit of rock sticking out. Now, because these coaster molds are a little bit deeper, I think they're more like about eight millimeters deep rather than six millimeters, like some of the other molds are. So I can leave this like this now and come back and do a flood coat. I'm so tempted to put some more of this dark on though. Mm, no, look, I won't. I won't, I won't. I'm going to put a little bit more clear in the middle though. I am going to do that. We're still taping. Gee, I hope so. Otherwise, I've been talking to myself for the last half hour. Yep. Woohoo! Oh my gosh, look at it. I love it. What's going on here? Oh, there's something. something oh, I need tweezers. There's something in there. Oh, something's fallen in like a dry piece of resin or something. I don't know what that is. Did I, did I get it out okay? Didn't damage anything? Oh my gosh. It's like having a baby, isn't it? You worry about it. Okay, a little bit more clear. Just to push everything out. The clear helps to make those really pretty um, striated patterns on top. It pushes the colour out and then as it comes back in it makes those really pretty designs so the clear does really nice things okay right I think I'm done you guys I'm gonna leave it at that I'm not gonna put any more of this dark on I think just having a little bit of it in the middle there I'm not quite sure what what the rest of it's going to do at this stage but I am wrapped with that. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love it. Let's just hope it stays pretty. And once it's dry, I'll put a flood coat on it just to bring it up to the height that I want. Oh, and there's another hair. Stop falling in my resin. All right, I'm going to get this covered now real quick. There's another one. Shall I bring you down for a close-up? Do you want to see? Oh. Alright, I'm going to bring you down real quick for a close-up. Um, and I'm going to cover this baby. I'm so excited! Oh my gosh! I just had no idea if it would work, you know? With my clear outside. I know I did the clear outside when I did... Um, my tray, you know, my tray and coaster set. I did the clear there. Look, you guys. Wow. It's just so sparkly. Come around here that I'm away from that nasty light. Look at it. Please stay like this. Don't move. <laughs> Don't move anywhere. I'm going to change to this other magnification. Um, yeah. <laughs> Look at the edges. There's scalloped edges where it's going around the rock. And you can kind of see the different layers there, like the rings that I poured or the puddles that I poured. And I really, really like that I've got that um, paler edge there next to the crushed glass. And then it gets darker. So let's hope that that stays. Hey everyone, I'm back. Look at my babies. They look gorgeous. The... Um, the colour did run a teensy 
wincy wincy little bit more um, after I stop videoing like over the next hour or so but I've still got my little clear edge that I really want it so yay now let's get these babies out I've got my Krylon copper pen there that I'll use shortly it's so exciting let's hope they come out okay now this is only the second time I've used this mold that I made myself it's um it's a little bit on the big side I think when I got my bit of paper that I wanted um, I kind of went well I cut out my paper um, and then I sort of went on the outside of my line with the silicone so they're a little bit bigger than what I was expecting oh my gosh look it's out all right now fun and games with this focusing whoops no I don't want to do that I'll leave it there all righty but look at those colors yummy 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 so I'm glad I only put two puddles of that um, darker it was bronze wasn't it bronze and copper so the copper around the outside has stayed really bright and coppery and then the copper in the middle it's kind of changed color when it's blended with the bronze so you can see it on on the edge there where it's kind of starting to blend a little bit and then we've got more of a copper center so really pretty love that got a little little lip at the back because I didn't fill them up all the way um, so I can either sand that or I can do a flood coat but look oh there you go so you can see the, the little lip at the end there all right let's have a look at the back Ooh, look at that it's sparkly oh, I don't know which one I like better what do you reckon they're very similar wowzers got my clear edge just tap the autofocus button I think it'll help when I bring it in like this so there we go that's the first one I better hurry shouldn't I otherwise it's gonna take me forever I'm gonna I don't know which one I like better you guys oh, who knows oh I've only got four little um plate stands and I've got six coasters I have got more I was just oops I'm stuck um, I was thinking I only had four to demold but I've got six all right get that last little bit out It'll need a little bit of sanding there so this one's a little bit more of a oblong shape I have made some new silicone um, templates I guess you now with the the corking gun uh, I've made them a little bit smaller so because but this was my first try for this um, silicon mold so I'm really happy with it but um, yeah I, I do want to make one that's just a little bit smaller all right I'll get a wriggle on Pop. okay here we go again they're all very very similar and I've got my clear edge now the other thing I really you know I wanted the clear edge so do I leave the sides clear I might put a picture up actually and ask you guys on on Facebook what do you think where do I just leave it like that or do I put the the copper edging around because then it'll kind of lose its clear uh, a little bit I mean to some degree it'll lose its clearness <laughs> is that a word oh, I love that okay did back in the front look so similar whoops I'm knocking everything over 
back and the front look so similar. All right, now let's try and get this one out without knocking those over at the back. It pops out so easily. So yeah, I've um, I've gone around with the corking gun with making my silicone shapes, um, and then I let it dry and I'll pour into it just with um, oh, I might put just a touch of blue in just to make it so it's not clear. And then um, I'll wait for my rubber silicone or silicone rubber to arrive. And then I'm going to make another mold like this with a slightly smaller. Oh, look, I'm going to knock everything off. Oh, oh. Hang on. All right, I just moved it around so that I can reach down here. Now, do you like my copper glass that I made? Hmm, looks pretty, doesn't it? I guess you can't see a lot of the copper on it. That copper glass that I made. It does have a little hint of copper. But um, yeah, copper nonetheless. Oh, I love my clear edges. Look at that sparkle. Oh, it's so pretty. All right, you can sit there. One more. Whoops. Lucky last. Come on out. And there's the last one. As I said, they're all very very similar and instead of having my clear center like I normally have I've got clear edges just for something a little bit different hey so I'm going to take a photo of these put them on the Facebook group and just say what do you reckon guys shall I paint the edges copper or just leave them so that you can see that it's clear all the way around because that was the whole purpose of this poll so, but anyway, we shall see what everyone thinks. And I'll just turn that, get rid of the glare. There they are. There's my little babies. <laughs> All right, I'll see you real soon. And um, I'll either paint them uh, or I'll show you the finished product. Stay tuned. Hey, guys. I have decided to paint the edges in copper so this is the Krylon copper pen copper leafing pen love these pens they are just amazing so I've done the other four I've actually decided that I like the back the best so I'm just gonna I know you've seen this before but I'm just gonna show you again if we can focus um, on how I do these. It's very easy. Just start with your pen. You can just give it a bit of a, a press like that. See on the bottom right hand corner there. I'm just giving it a press to get the colour to come down. And then you just paint away. Put a glove on your hand that you're holding your coaster in so that you don't get any oils or fingerprints or anything like that on them because they haven't cured yet so just go all the way around see how easy that is when the paint stops flowing you can give it a bit of a, a shake or press it again on your little bit of card that you've got there And it's really easy to do. Go around. So I'm going to paint the bottom edge, which I think should be the top because I think it's prettier. Look at the shine on that. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous paint. I've got the gold and the silver as well. I don't know whether it's just my pen um, in the silver, but it just didn't flow very well. 
like it didn't have good coverage I had to do two coats but the gold and this copper go on really really well And because I've made these coasters, they've got like a rock edge, a natural rock edge. They're not smooth. So this pen, you can just press into the little nooks and crannies. Um, and it covers it really, really well. And I think that's about it. I've got a little tiny bit there. And that's the edge done. Now. Again, hold it like this. Make sure that you're holding it um, so that your fingers aren't touching it's because you don't want to smudge what you've already done. And then with your little nib of your pen, let's give it a shake, half on, half off your coaster rim there and just ever so lightly pull that across. goes pretty fast because it's got a nice little edge to follow. See that? How pretty is that? Round we go. It takes a long time to do a set of six I tell you. This is the fifth one. And then I've got one more to do. And um, I'll go and set them up so that they look all pretty for you. Don't know how I'm going to display it this time. I don't really have anything. Oh, actually, you know what I have got? I've got my um, Indian bowls that I use when I serve butter chicken they're like they're a, like a coppery color so I might put those in the picture so there we go it is done beautiful beautiful shine on the top love it and then very carefully put it onto a little upside down bowl or something like that so it can dry without touching anything else and I'm going to get going on to my last one. Um, but I'll see you soon for the finished product. I forgot to show you something. I've got these little silicone bumpers um, that I got from eBay. Little tiny sticky on things. Um, and what I'm going to do is on the back... I'm just going to, I want to put them in the clear area because, you know, you don't want to see them. I'm going to put one. Oops, I can get it off with one hand. Hang on, I'm going to put it down. I can't peel them off with one hand. And then that one can go opposite. But again, not in the clear section. And I'm going to put four on because they're quite big coasters. And I thought, I, th I just think if you put three on, it might kind of tip. So four, like that. And then it just sits like that. Cool, hey? <laughs> All right, I'm going to let these babies dry. And they can still sit up there. So there we go. Just wanted to show you that. Stay tuned for the finished product.